and let your whole body to settle down itself and focus your mind to this bell sound and while you're focusing to the mind, keep relax your body. Namotas Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhas Namotas Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhas Namotas Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhas your right palm on your left and make it straight in one line and be comfortable with your posture and scan head to toes three times yourself and say so patveva or oh, may i be well and happy three times Take a moment and think, we gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom. So we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge in this moment with this sitting. May my body become more comfortable, may my breath be more smooth, may no difficulties come to me. May all the success come to me. Also think for a moment that this is the last moment we are spending in this very lifetime. And detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment, observing the sensation of your inhalation and exhalation. So in the beginning, Bring your attention to the sound around you. Let everything to settle down. Try to recognize that all the sounds separately. And slowly shut down your inner conversation. There are some sound that arises from closer to you or maybe from far away. Some sound very high, some sounds very low. There are some sounds more pleasant, some sounds more rough. There are some sound hold for long duration and some sounds for short duration. The depth of the soul si sounds, there is a deeper silence. Slowly try to bring your attention to that silence.
and bring my attention to your body. And observe the lower part of your body. Your legs, your thigh, your butter. And feel the pressure, tightness, heaviness or the contact with the cushion or the seat or your couch or your chair. And bring attention to your lower back area. Recognize the sensation or the pain or the tightness, heaviness, any feelings, no need to change anything. And your upper back and shoulders. Arms, elbow, forearms, palms, fingers, fingertips. And your chest and your abdominal area. and your neck and head. Now bring your attention to your whole body. And recognize the sensation or the feelings, any tightness, heaviness, just get a mental note, no need to react. No need to change, you know, no, no need to think about it. Just get a mental note and recognize. So bring your attention to in front of your nose and your upper lip area. Deeply and gently breathe in, breathe out three times and find the sensation of your inhalation, exhalation. Allow your inhalation, exhalation happen itself naturally. 
So don't try to hold your breath. Don't try to maintain or count your breath. Completely allow it to be free from your authority. Only thing when the inhalation exhalation happens, through the sensation of that inhalation exhalation, recognize this is as inhalation, this is as exhalation. This is rising, this is falling. Just get a mental note. No need to go with it. Follow the entire continuation of the inhalation, exhalation with your sensation. This is the beginning, this is the middle, this is the end of the inhalation. This is the beginning, this is the middle, this is the end of the exhalation. Just observe entire breath body. So the breath body means one inhalation or exhalation from beginning to end. Some inhalation become longer, shorter, heavy, soft, warm, cold. Each and every inhalation, exhalation unique. And independent. So just recognize the very nature of it. Accept it. So if it is possible, slowly let go all the methods and the patterns and the, the knowledge you carry regarding observing inhalation, exhalation and completely be free from all the information you gathered regarding meditation. And to close the gap in between the observer and the, the mental object you keep observing. Don't separate it. The sensation itself is the very nature of you. So what you recognize through the sensation the change itself is the very nature thing yourself. And slowly get into it mindfully without feeding to it investigate, observe, look into it. 
Don't settle down with the experience. If your mind go here and there, bring it back again and again. Don't hold into you. Don't hold into your memory or your past. Don't hold into this is me or I am. Bring your fully attention and recognize the very nature of the sensation. followed by the inhalation, exhalation. Very nature of the change arising, existing and disappearing. Be very clear with it. See, is there anything else you experience? So bring your attention to your body. Observe your posture.
your life is not your past or future. The very moment you're observing this inhalation and exhalation is your life. There is nothing you can experience in this universe more than change. In the depth of everything, finally you meet the change. The same like in this very moment, you recognize the change within your inhalation, exhalation. When you wake up in the morning, you have strength to come out of your bed. That is blessing. You have strength to walk to your bathroom and do your cleanings yourself. That is blessing. Just think, if one day you cannot do it yourself, how difficult it is. You have strength to enjoy a cup of tea, coffee, your breakfast, your meal. You have people around you to share your life. That is blessing. Even you live yourself. If you can do it yourself, you are so lucky. So appreciate it. You have this beautiful eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, mind with longevity, complexion, comfort, strength, and wisdom to maintain these things without getting any harm to yourself or without doing any harm to others. So that is blessing. You can experience this beautiful life because you have this inhalation, exhalation, you have this connection to the universe. Appreciate it. Never fight with anybody. Don't argue. Learn to accept. Accepting and living peaceful is art. Master it. There are a lot of people in this moment fighting with life, struggling with death, have fear, anxiety, depression, helplessness, hopelessness, loneliness. As appreciation, as paying your gratitude to yourself, share this moment with them. May they come out of that fear, anxiety, depression, helplessness, hopelessness, loneliness. May they have the strength, courage and wisdom to go through the situation and find the peace, harmony, tranquility state within themselves. Not only them share this moment with your dear near ones, your loved ones, your beloved parents, grandparents, husband, wife, children, brothers, sisters, friends and family members. Not only that. Your neighbors, village people, city, state, country, all living beings in this world and in this universe. 
and as far as you can through galaxies, other planets, stars. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest. Wishing yourself, may all living beings in this universe be well and happy. So thinking like thus mentally, repeat after me. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe and may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Beings who are frail or strong, tall or short, big or small, visible or not visible, near or far away, already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. So expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. Visualize yourself and send it as a light forward. To your backside. To your left side. and to your right side. Downward and upward. To all six directions at once. Like the moon, the sun, spread the light, spread the energy without any condition, without any limitation, without any resistance, or without any judgment. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it, with the maximum effort to the highest. Wishing yourself, may all living beings in this universe be well and happy. Let your heart to shine and come out of the skin.
श्री साधु 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 सो डियर दामा फ्रेंड्स when we carry this human body we always have to struggle with the pain and that is a major thing in our life morning to night night to morning we trying to deal with the the physical and mental pain physical and psychological pain and sometimes it is uh, not easy but is there any way that you can deal with this or you can understand this and you can bring a solution rather than getting irritated yourself or disappointed yourself or fighting with it because the the very important thing to understand we cannot we cannot uh, destroy the pain because it is a part of the world and uh, but the very nature of the pain how it become painful to us pain is something and you get hurt out of it or you get it as painful is something else so mainly the physical pain there is a way that our brain our nerve system has a method to to deal with it bear with it go with it and if you deeply observe you can recognize it but in between this physical pain and the mind we have behavior that behavior is always come from the past so that behavior is always trying to change that pain and sometimes the way we take it as pain or the the behavior we trying to change the pain is become more painful than the origin of the pain because the pain itself not a something solid or entity going to exist forever it always change so then how you can come out of the pain and stay away getting hurt it can be physical or mental but in the beginning you have to practice with the physical why because your mind can locate it and you your mind can recognize it and that more comfortable and that is more visible for us to practice so is there a way that you can experience the pain without painful feelings is there a way is it is possible for you to go through the pain without getting hurt when the pain arises if you become the center for that pain that is where the, the pain become painful when you become the center i am so i have this i feel this but when the pain arise forgetting or letting go the self centered idea when you start to observe when you attend to the attend to recognize the pain in that recognition there is no pain listen very carefully when you observe any pain with the self centered mind so then you are separate from the pain 
then you trying to maintain it or you trying to do something for that but if you let go the self centered idea i am i feel this my knee my back my shoulder my head so like that if you come out of that self centered idea or labeling the place the your pain and if you start to observe in that observation in that attention there's no pain still you experience it, it but it is not going to be kind of like uh, the painful feelings so it is more different than the pain you experience from outside so contemplating the pain and will take you to that experience and contemplating the sensation take you to that experience that is physical but more than that we have to understand we have psychological pain we are more mentally more wounded through in this sansaric journey because of many many situations it happened knowingly or unknowingly even in this very lifetime we we got hurt many times in our life and we have many damages in our mind and in our heart and we have many kind of space or the gap created through different different situations which we cannot go back and fix that mental pain is more stronger more dangerous than your physical pain so this mental pain hold by the memory or the uh, the incidents the event that happened in your past and itself we it hold by as life the sometimes we say my life miserable my life painful my life is so sad my life with full of worry so that's mean that the, the we take this as life the memory as life incidents as life this mental this psychological pain when we it is inside us what is happening it has power to create certain kind of situation inside us even though physically we don't go with that situation and again and again and again and again it create with our uh, we are mentally go through the same situation and then what is happening more than the healing we again and again again and again get wounded so then how you can recover from it because it is very necessary for your life to experience this moment because the very this moment is very fresh new moment but if you come to this moment with your wounded mind painful mind and you cannot see this moment and what is happening that pain going to reflect through everything around you and then you again see the pain again and again and again so then remember the same technique that you use to your physical pain to observe it and not to categorize it or without self centered mind when you see the pain and itself you going to come out of it so then whatever the mental pain that you carry the very thing is it become painful when you become the center i am but if you able to observe this so whatever the incident happen if you sit for a moment and start to observe very carefully 
go de in, in details moment by moment moment by moment slowly without getting angry without getting mad without getting disappointed with the equanimity or the balanced mind if you go little by little little by little and then what will happen you start to recognize that things happen according to necessary conditions in that very moment it's not going to happen today and today is completely physically psychologically you are in a different place so once you understand that it will help you to heal yourself so otherwise don't carry this pain or don't don't go with this wounded mind to the future so the meditation is kind of like uh, you doing deeper surgery yourself then the, when you do that little by little slowly you have to be very careful you cannot do it so quickly you cannot be hurry you have to be attentive you with the mindful clear mind you have to do this and you cannot do any any kind of tools for that you have to use the exactly right tools to get out of it so there are two kind of meditation methods kusala bhavana and akusala bhavana kusala bhavana means whatever you have done in your life like something good when you remind it again and again it create a certain kind of power attitude inside you to repeat that action again and in a better way so whatever you have done good action in the past if you remind it again and again you tomorrow you can do it it more better way the same thing with the akusala bhavana akusala bhavana means whatever related with the greed hatred or the delusion you have done in the past if you got disappointed upset sad worry that sadness worry or disappointment when you remind again and again and again and again tomorrow what will happen you create a current to happen that again and again with the more deeper more stronger way so then you have to be very careful because what you think you become mano pubbang gama dhamma mano setta mano maya mind is the power runner mind is the creator so you are responsible for your life for your moment it is your choice are you going to to carry that all the the disappointment unhappiness sadness worry or the mental pain whatever that you accumulated from yesterday to tomorrow so today is the moment you can drop that everything and you can come out of it because if you decide not to get hurt yourself anymore from that point you're not going to have a mental pain when you become heal that you that uh, cure yourself with this mental pain the physical pain is nothing because physical pain always has a way that your your brain will take care of that and the, there are doctors there are medicine there are many kind of pharmaceutical products to to get out of this pain physical pain somehow we can handle it but the mental pain is not like that it is more dangerous because it go beyond the life it go beyond the 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 death and it go with you in this sansaric journey so then remember yourself be very careful whatever in your mind and it become more stronger tomorrow it's not going to be the same like today it become more stronger tomorrow so then today look yourself if you have any mental pain psychological pain yourself with the effort come out of it and knowingly that it it is everywhere don't personalize it 
don't hold and don't get with the, the self-centered mind. The very basic technique is when you become the center for any pain, physical or psychological pain, it becomes painful. But if you come out of the center and if you observe, because in that observation there is no center. So when there is no center, you come out of it. You are not responsible for that. But if you become the center, remember, you are going to carry it with you. So the very basic technique you have to do in everyday life, whatever happens, physical or mental, physical or psychological, and whatever happens, don't get into that with the centered mind. It can be with your husband, wife, children, friends and family members, brothers, sisters or society. So don't get even with the practicing meditation. Don't, don't get it with the centered mind. I am. Come out as soon as possible. Come out of the centered mind and start to observe. Why? Because in that observation, in that investigation, there is no self. When you come out of the self, in that very moment, you come out of the painful experience. So they develop more awareness. It develop more clarity inside you. So that way you can transform this pain to uplift your awareness, uplift your consciousness, uplift your clear comprehension, sati sampajanya. And otherwise, if you keep reminding it, if you hold it, remind it, if you get addicted to be with the pain or the unsatisfaction or the worry, sad, and remember, there is no medicine for that. You will take it with you. So then why you have to do that? Because you know you are the one who is suffering, not the other people, not the other world. So you are the one who, so then yourself, remember, and come out of the centered mind. And then you will see there is something. But when you hold the pain, you cannot see it. The very good example for this is the story about the Kisa Gotami. So the Kisa Gotami was the woman during the Buddha's time had one child and uh, this child had a severe disease and somehow the child died. So the, the mother didn't believe that mother used to take to the Ayurvedic doctors and so first she went to a doctor and told, please help my child. This child not talking, not moving. Can you help? So the, the doctor examined the child and knew this child is dead. But the doctors knew that they cannot explain this. Why? Because the mother was so sad, worried and crying and the doctor felt like helpless and what what that doctor tells and he tells oh sister i cannot help for you i don't have medicine for this disease it's better you go to in the other side of the village there is another doctor please go there maybe he can help so then she carry the, the this baby's dead body and then ran, ran to the other doctor and then he examined and he knew the situation the same like previous doctor and he told, oh sister, I cannot help. I don't have any medicine. Why? Because sometimes they understand, they see that whatever they explain, this Kisa Gotami cannot understand. And then what he tells, he tells, please go to someone else. And then the doctor told, please, in the other side of the village, there is another doctor. Then she go there. So like that, she went to place to place, place to place, carrying this body. 
Why? Because this my child, my child. That my child block her mind to see what happened to the child. So that's what happened everywhere. When you hold with, when you are my is stronger, you disconnect from this, the reality or the situation. That's why when, when your child or when your husband, when your wife, when your people do something, and sometimes some people don't care about it. When your party do some mistake, you, you say it's okay. But when the other party do that, and then you get mad about it. But the mistake is, you cannot see the mistake as a mistake. The wrong as wrong. Why? Because you hold it to, oh, this is my party. This is my husband. This is my wife. This is my child. This is my friend. This is my nation. This is my country. So like that we hold it. So while you become centered, what is happening? You disconnect from reality. So then the Kisa Gautami went to the Buddha and the, the one doctor and then that doctor told, I cannot do this. But there is one person can help for this. That is the Buddha. He is at the temple. This time, please go there. So she ran to the temple. And she didn't know about the Buddhism or anything. She didn't care about anything that she just went to the in front of the Buddha and told, please, can you help for me to cure my child? So the Buddha understood the situation and where are the blockages. And then what the Buddha said, of course, sister, I can help you. But to make some medicine, I need certain ingredients. So first I need some mustard seed. The seed told, told oh, it is very simple, I can bring it. Then the Buddha said, yeah, you can bring it, but be very careful. It is a very secret, auspicious medicine I'm going to make and bring it in a family that no one died. And then she went and knocked the door to the neighbor and they opened the door and asked how I can help. I need some mustard seed. Okay, it is very simple because everywhere people have that. And gave and by receiving it and her heart that she asked by the way if there anybody died in this family oh my father died and then no no this is not good and it is not clean so then she went to the next house oh my mother died last month and then she went to the oh my brother died she went to the next house oh my sister died she went to the next oh my child died so like that whole village and when she go little by little little by little further so what happened she start to understood that whatever we experience is common and she came out of that self centered experience and why? Because she start to see everywhere that how people see things, that how people experience that. And then she came back to the temple knowingly, this death is common to everyone. So then the Buddha explained the, the very nature of life. See, this same thing happened to us. So this happened 2,600 years ago. And most of Buddhist people know this story, but still when something happened to us, we personalize it. We get it with the self-centered mind. That's why by hearing a story, it doesn't make any sense. You have to see the very essence of the, the story and apply it to your life with the very simple little, little, little things. Maybe your child not going to die like as a Kisa Gautam is. But remember, when your cup broken, your plate broken, if something little whatever you use, your pencil broke, let your children to handle that with the knowingly the very nature of the, the world. When if the child breaks something, and sometimes parents punish and shout 
and telling why you do this, why you do that. And then the subconscious mind is start to develop a method not to break things and not to accept that, that kind of situations. But there is another way you can educate the children. And the glass is itself breakable. There is, that's the very nature of the glass. So it, when you say the, the word glass, the form arises with the breakable nature. There is no glass cannot break in the world. So then if you give glass to glass to the children, you have to teach them the very nature of the glass. If otherwise, if the child breaks the glass, you cannot blame to the child because if the child doesn't know the very nature of the glass and by mistake or knowingly or unknowingly, it can break. So like that, always remember, when we schooling ourselves, when we schooling our children, when we educate ourselves, and when we listen to Dhamma or we, we follow the Dhamma, so we ourselves we have to get that very essence to our life. If you able to get that, you are the most lucky person in this world because during this time period, you have opportunity to absorb a lot of teachings to your life and come out of this unnecessary pain or the unsatisfaction, worry, sadness like that. So that is very important, that is very necessary. When we look at the world, the most of people mentally have some pain. That pain, that wounded mind, little by little, little by little, can create a disease inside. So that disease we cannot cure by through this pharmaceutical product. So then remember yourself little by little, recognize the very nature and don't get anything with the self-centered mind and always try to get out of it and start to observe. In that observation, you, you see what it is and you recognize the reality of it. That is the way to come out of the pain. Even the physical pain, and even the mental pain. So in the beginning, try to do it with the physical pain, little by little, and observe, and don't personalize, don't observe, don't get with the self-centered idea, and observe it as pain, and then you will see it will change. That understanding will help you to go to your mind. So whatever happened in the past, get a little incident and observe, and the very thing you will recognize, that incident related with the time and the space. So then you are in a different timeline and different space today. So the itself you will understand it's not going to happen anymore. And you are a completely different person. So and the, the change that happening moment by moment, once you able to recognize each and every moment, you can live without pain. That doesn't mean without pain means that doesn't mean that there are not things going to things will happen. Things will happen, but maybe that things going to become difficult, but it's not going to become any more painful to your mind. So that is where you going to become more calm, relaxed, and comfortable. So with that, I bless upon everyone. With this good Patrice, may all of you be well, happy and peaceful. May no harm come to you. May no difficulties come to you. May no problems come to you. May you also have the patient, courage, understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life. During this time period, may everyone stay healthy and safe. And finally, may all of you attain supreme bliss of Nibbana. Sabbiti yo vajjantu sabbaro go vinasatu mate bavatantara yo suki diga yuko bhava ittavata chami sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva no more than to sabba sampati siddhya sabbe bhuta no more than to sabba sampati siddhya sabbe satta no more than to sabba sampati siddhya 
idam me punya kamang asa bakaya bang otu sabadukka pamun satu. Bless you.